What do you believe in? Say it. The, uh, the Quran is the message from God. I believe in it. You believe that the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of God. He said, "Yes, I do." And then Hassan said, "Okay, repeat after me." Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. So he repeated after him. He said his shahada. I was like, "Wow, this is this is amazing." Like if somebody told me this three four years ago, I would have said, ah, "No way." He's he's an atheist. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, greetings of peace. Welcome to the Dean Show, how are you guys doing? I have an incredible guest, an incredible story. A man who was living without purpose, but was seeking purpose, and he's found purpose, and he's here. And I'm here with him, guess where? In Bosnia. This is our brother Zlaya, how are you? Assalamu alaikum, alaikum mashallah, very good, how are you? Thank, alhamdulillah, you have an incredible story, and it's very unique how Allah, the creator of the heavens and earth, answers du'as. Please share with us this unique experience, how it happened and how it brought us here, where we're here together today. Yes, that was the cause of the of the dua, exactly, that got us here sitting now together. That was approximately five years ago, uh, when me and my very good friend started researching about a lot of stuff. And that's how we, how we came to Islam and started researching about Islam. We were born Muslims, but never, never practiced Islam. So we started research, doing research, research, research for about two years. And suddenly Allah just gave us, uh, opened our heart and our mind that this is, this is the way of life. This is, this is our purpose of life. And uh, so during that research, as, as we just opened our minds, my friend said, Okay, you, you realize now we got to establish prayer because this, this is the main pillar, the, everything of, of being a Muslim. And I was looking, I'm like, yeah, yes, we have, we have to, we have to establish prayer. But I don't know how. I never prayed, I, I never in my life before, I didn't know how to take wudu, nothing. And he typed on YouTube, he typed how to pray, just how to pray. Found a good video, gave it to me here. Take a look at this, you can learn from this, that's a great video, I looked at it. You can, you can, it's explained, voodoo and the prayer. Okay, I typed it in, how to pray, and it started with the Dean Show. I had no idea what the Dean Show is, you came up, I had no idea who you are, nothing. Okay, so for a couple of days I was looking at it, learning from that video how to establish prayer, uh, also learning uh, Al Fatiha because I had no idea about anything. And uh, in in those couple of days when I was looking at it and started establishing prayer on my own, I asked, it was like a dua that I made, uh, having no idea who you are or anything. I would love to meet this guy. He he taught me how to establish prayer, but that that's all. That's just crossed my mind. I had no idea, as I said, who you are, what the Dean Show is, nothing. So, about one year has passed since uh, from that. I was sitting with that friend of mine, we were sitting in, in a coffee shop in here at Bashtarshia, and across there's a mosque. And he saw a man walking in there. I didn't know the man, he, he knew him, he saw him. Uh, and we didn't even know he had Bosnian roots. This is Eddie's father. So now you see my father going in the masjid. Yeah, not me, my friend. friend. I didn't even know, know yeah. Hassan. This is Eddie's father. Eddie, well, the guy from the Dean Show, and because uh, he started watching a little bit the Dean Show, he's like, yeah, that's his father. I'm looking, oh man, I gotta meet this guy. I gotta, I gotta go approach him. So I went the, the, the next, when the next time of Salah was, I went to the mosque, he was there again. After the Salah, I waited outside and I approached him. So we had a sit down, had a coffee, we're very good friends meanwhile, because he comes often here to Sarajevo. 
So we talked about told him my story and everything and uh, how I wanted to meet you and everything. So when, when we first sat together, he told me that you guys live in Chicago. And my wife's brother lives in Chicago. Uh, and that's great. Like, okay, no coincidence at all. And then after that, I think next year, we went to Chicago, me and my wife and my kid. And uh, the place where her brother lives is, as you, as you know, 10 minutes walking distance from, from your place. So in that, huge, in that huge city of Chicago, also coincidence, no way. That's, yeah. that's the plan of Allah. He answered my dua. That is amazing, amazing, amazing. We're here in Bosnia, in Bosnia. Kapsta. Dobro, kako ste vi? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So what happened before, your, before you start to look, search and seek? What was going on in your life? Because many people, you're fairly young, they're not thinking about this thing that we're talking about now, about, you know, worshiping the Creator, not the creation, you know, establishing prayer, you know, uh, living Islam. You know, many people are involved in so many different things, so many things distracting them. Young kids, nightclubs, chasing girls, chasing boys, you know, fashion, entertainment, video games, doing everything but opposite of seeking, why am I here in this life? What's exactly. my purpose? What happened in your life so people can relate that started to have you think like beyond the materialism in the material world? Okay, what happened? Uh, before I was one of these people, that you just mentioned. Uh, I used to I used to own a nightclub here in Sarajevo, not far from not far from here. And uh, I owned it for four years, three or four years. And this is this is an awful business. There's alcohol. There's there's many 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 bad things. And that that's what was going on in my life during the, these years. So, me and my friend that I mentioned before, we were hanging out at that club. I used to have an apartment right above. So, we're hanging out there, we go to my apartment. That's where we did the research on, on computer, typed in a lot of things, research, research. But it started, it's, when we started thinking, uh, okay, what is, what is this? What is this purpose? All these troubles, when you own a nightclub, there's many, many troubles coming along with that. Different kind of troubles. So there's, there's no peace in your life. And uh, that's, that's what got us thinking, what's the, what's the purpose of life? And that's when we started also researching about Islam. What is, because we were, as I said, born Muslims, so... But not practicing. Your no, par your parents no. were uh, primarily your father, mother, more like on a communist, atheist side. Yes, my father mostly, my mother, but also no practicing. Nothing. No, no practicing. Nothing. 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 So you wanted to know what, what's, what you, you obviously believe there's a creator. I did. Alhamdulillah, I always believed there's a creator, and I always believed in the revelation Quran, but I never, I never even took the translation to read the Quran. Nothing. That was like. Okay, I believe, but now I realize there's you can't just say okay, I believe, and that's it because that's not our purpose. So now, did you put the Quran to the test? Yes, yeah, yes. First, okay, then when we started researching, 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 after uh, a while, we said, okay, let's see what the Quran says, let's see the translations. We didn't even we didn't start praying yet. Okay, we started reading the translation, and at the beginning, when what I was all these years, all these troubles with the nightclub and everything, all this stress in life. And I came right at the beginning when I started reading the Quran. Uh, there's a verse uh, about Jannah, about Jannah and the description of Jannah, the forever lasting peace. And I was like, oh, that's it. That's what I'm looking for. The forever lasting peace. There's no trouble. There's forever. Because you got and the nightclub now, but you you don't have that what you're looking for. That uh, no, that peace. no. Uh, as I troubles. said, constant troubles. Anxiety, constant, stress. Yeah, stress, constant stress. So you want to exit from that? I want to get away from this. <laughs> I want to get away from this. Yeah. I always like. I don't want this in my life. Yeah. But there's no other way. Okay, that's that's what I got. That's what I got now. And then I said, saw that, read that in the Quran about Jannah. That's what got me like. Okay, this is it. This is what I want. How do I get this? And uh, that's when you realize 
you can't just say, I believe in God, I believe the Quran is the revelation of God, and that's it. I don't want to practice that. What's the point of the revelation? What's the point of, of God sending the messenger, sallallahu exactly, alayhi yeah. wa What's the point? 23 years he was the messenger. What's the point of all that if I'm going to say, okay, I believe, but I, I, I don't want this in my but life. you disregard all yeah, that. Yeah, just regard it. What's, what's the point of, of, of all, all this? And that's how you, how you get to me when, when I saw that the, the, that's what most got me, uh, the everlasting peace. No trouble, no stress, no nothing. That's in Jannah. And okay, I want this. How do I achieve this? And that is through following the message, following the Quran, following the Sunnah, and uh, staying away from what Allah has prohibited. Mm -hmm. And also, I just, what I needed to say, to, to say, okay, this is the revelation, there is no doubt, this is the relation, revelation from God, the Quran. Okay, let's see scientifically what they say about the Quran. And when I saw that, all these numberless, uh, how do you say? Um, examples? Examples and, and evidence, evidence. Uh, scientific evidence, that 1400 years ago, people had no way, no way of knowing it. Like... The, the baby, uh, when, when it starts, the in the, in the, the tomb, being, yeah, yeah, the developing, that's all explained that people maybe, maybe 100 years ago, uh, no clue, yeah. yeah, scientifically, when it was proven, proven 50, 100 years ago, people, 1400 years, somebody knew that, and people say, okay, he could have somehow known it, okay, no way. Something that just was recently discovered, now this is being discussed 1400 years ago yeah yeah it's not, yeah it's not possible, yeah, it's not possible. No. and it's one example out of 100 and more yeah and that's when i saw scientific uh, proof that the quran is from god because there's no way people and what's the point even okay if some people say okay he could have known that what's the point of saying uh, it's from god why didn't he claim it from himself yeah and capitalize off it yeah yeah, yeah. Why don't you claim it from yourself when you have such a knowledge? Why don't you claim it for yourself? Why do you say it's from God mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's not? So the, but again, there's no way people could have known these things 1400 years ago. Uh -huh. And that, that's the beautiful thing. I like what you said, like all of the emphasis that the last and final messenger, who's a brother to Jesus, Moses, Abraham, he, he was just a seal of the prophets. He, he kept on emphasizing worship the Creator, worship the Creator, exactly. not the creation. Nothing with himself. Don't Nothing. idolize him. He said, don't idolize me. Don't worship, just the Creator. That's, what you, that's amazing what you just said. All emphasis is on God. Yes. I don't want, as he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I don't want nothing from this, from you people. I don't expect, expect anything. Just worship the Creator, the one and only. And, and that's something that's amazing. The message, the simplicity of Islam, submission to the will of the Creator, not the creation, is the pure monotheism, the Tawheed, that just worship the one who created you. You guys can understand that. It's simple, no trinity, no worshiping a man, a stick, a stone, a bone, a human being, Jesus, nobody, but the one who created Jesus, the one who created this whole universe and everything in it, God Almighty in Arabic, and that's the only thing that makes sense. That makes sense. There's one God, just one, who created everything. That, that's the only thing that made sense to me. Yes. I also took a little bit, uh, I have to admit, I didn't go into the whole thing about Christianity. But I did research it uh, on the beginning also. Okay, let's see what what's, what's this This is all about. And a lot, lot, lot of things make no sense, especially the Trinity. Like there's one God, one in three... God came down to earth, God, God got killed to, to uh, that we get our sins forgiven, that just didn't make sense, doesn't make sense. The innate disposition of the human being, it accepts, doesn't reject the message of Islam, the, the belief system is, of Islam, if a person is open. You are definitely open, you are seeking, you are sincere. Yes, exactly. And inside yourself, were you earnestly asking the Creator? Because that's where we usually tell people, start within yourself, because if your heart is open, and if you want to receive, if you want the truth, and you seek the truth, seek it and you'll find it. So you were seeking. Were of you course, making seeking. inside yourself and like also, God guide me? What I would like to mention, it's a thing that I it's constantly in my mind. Even as I said before, Alhamdulillah I always believed in God. 
There was like never for me a question if there's a God. So even before in that chaotic life of mine, little things like when I would take a shower, I had a nice uh, apartment, nice shower. And before, way before years, before Islam, I would like, I was feeling good. And I would sometimes thank God, thank you God, that I have this nice apartment, I can have this nice shower. It was just in my mind a couple of times. And maybe also this is a huge thing, uh, knowing that everything you have is from God. And uh, thanking, thank, thank Allah, whatever He gave you. And this may also have been a, a, a trigger to, to, you know, that Allah, Allah had mercy on me to, to guide me towards the truth. That is a very important point. You hear that? Take notes right here. Little things you can do. We talk about being sincere, being genuine, wanting the truth. Because if you don't want it, I mean, it's not going to be open. You're not going to see it. But if you want it, and then what he was saying, being grateful and thankful. It's just common sense that design indicates a designer and thanking the one for little things he was doing. Thank, being grateful and thankful. And then doors just started to open up. My next question is amazing. Tell us the story. What happens next with your father? Okay, that, that is also, that, that's, uh, that's a, a story that really, really makes me happy. Because, as you said at the beginning, uh, my father was with here way, uh, years before communism here in Bosnia. So people would raise their, people would follow that, that idea about uh, communism, communism, the, the whole idea, there's no God, there's no creator. And uh, my father was raised like that. He was an atheist. He didn't believe in God. So when I accepted Islam, started practicing, I thought about this. Okay, my father, he doesn't believe in God. And two years, two and a half years ago, he was here uh, in Sarajevo. He doesn't live here now. He was here in Sarajevo visiting and uh, he had a little heart problem when he was visiting. So he, he ended up in the hospital. Nothing serious, alhamdulillah. But he ended up in the hospital. So he was there for like 10 days. I visited him every day. And when he got out, I decided, okay, I'm going to use this opportunity uh, to, to start talking to him about the Creator first. So we went, I asked him, okay, let's go for breakfast. He was okay, we went for a breakfast. And when we sat down, I was like right away. Okay, what, how do you feel about God? He smiled. I was, I was afraid he's going to say, okay, don't bother me with that stuff. You know my, uh, my opinion about this, don't bother me. But still, I went, I asked him. So he smiled he's, and he said, you know how I feel about it. That I, I doubt there's a God. So, alhamdulillah, he, he did want to talk about it. He didn't, he didn't refuse, he didn't run away or anything. So he sat there for three to four hours, talking, 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 talking. And uh, the whole idea I was approaching to him is like, there, there's no sense. He's, he's a smart guy. And uh, he also knows, knows this stuff, knows about science, knows a little bit how the universe works. And he said, all these, the, the planets, the, the distance from the earth to the sun, it, was, it, was, it would be a little bit closer, a little bit, little bit further away. We wouldn't exist here, the earth wouldn't exist. And that's all these examples he took and uh, that, that got him to, do, to think about it. There's no way this can function without a creator who the keeps this whole thing going. The f you mentioned something very important, the fine tuning. Everything is in its proper in place. Its proper Take place, one exactly. thing out. Everything collapsed. Exactly. Yeah. And that's that's what got him also like the the main thing I think main main thing uh, that got him thinking accepting that there's a creator is that that everything is in its, in its place somebody has to care take care of this and now what happens next now so you have a he, he's coming to visit you you're talking you're being you know uh, real respectful with your father and he's liking does he liking the change that's happy does he see something different in you like now definitely that you're definitely life? definitely even before I started talking to him he saw uh, he he knew I was started practicing Islam and uh, he saw the change Did he definitely. See your manners, your character? definitely definitely he's like I'm very very happy how you are now uh, uh, the way you used to be 
like it, it's a huge difference. Alhamdulillah, it's a huge difference. Be you just have to change when you start, as I said before, uh, doing what, what the Creator told you to do and staying away what He forbade you to, 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 to do. You become a different, a better, the better, much, much better person. That, and that's that, what he saw. That by itself, if parents knew the rights that they have and how children are supposed to treat their parents with kindness and gentleness in a day and age nowadays where children are, you know, giving their, their uh, sad to say, their parents the middle finger, mm -hmm. cursing their mm -hmm. parents. No, no respect. Respe yeah. No respect. Yeah. But that's a thing that will lead you a straight one-way ticket to the hellfire, being like that towards your parents. But Islam honors the parents. You know, old yes. folks' homes and you dump them and you forget about exactly. them. Exactly. That's also one thing about among many that I have changed. Yeah. Like my, my treatment toward my parents, my yeah. father and my mother. So he sees that, now the logical arguments of design for the universe, and he accepts that. What happens next? What happens next is uh, I start talking to him, okay, now you realize there's a creator. That creator who created us, who gave us life, who put us on the earth. Doesn't it make sense that he gave us a message? Why are we here? Who we are? What, what are we doing here? What's our purpose here? So we started talking in that, that direction. That also took about one year me talking to him and uh, so this is taking some time it's not overnight this is like so now of course you left this and now yeah we he, left he it took me one year to talk to him to to him to realize there's a creator patience now, now. of course patience okay. we always talk patiently and uh, another year has passed it was in three months ago just right before ramadan it uh, happened that my father was here at the same time hassan your father was here so I, I also talked to Hassan about my father when I'm talking to him there and it happened for them both to be here at the same time. So I called up Hassan and my father, we had a, uh, to sit together. First we had a coffee and then we, uh, short coffee. And then we said, okay, let's go tomorrow for breakfast. So we went tomorrow for breakfast and Hassan also talked to him. And I was also, he's there at about the same age, so it's... He, I think he's going to take him more seriously. And uh, so we talked there also for like two or three hours. And Hassan talked, mo did the most of the talking. And uh, suddenly he said, as they were talking, like he said, yes, 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 that's it. And I'm like, what, 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 that's it? That's it, it, it is. I believe that, the, I believe in it. So... What do you believe in? Say it. The, uh, the Quran is the message from God. I believe in it. You believe that the messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is the messenger of God. He said, yes, I do. And then Hassan said, okay, repeat after me. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. So he repeated after him. He said his shahada. I was like, wow, this is, this is amazing. Like if somebody told me this three, four years ago, I would have said, ah, no way. He's... He's an atheist, no communist, uh, raised, no way. So I'm looking at him, he's repeating after Hassan, his, his shahada. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, there's no other God but one. And I was like, this is amazing. So he asked me, uh, write it down on a piece of paper, because he didn't know. I wrote it down on a piece of paper and he was visiting here also about three weeks ago. And he showed me from his wallet, because like, look at this I still got that piece of paper I was like I was so grateful Alhamdulillah he started uh, reading the Quran the translation he told me he's halfway through it and inshallah he also said uh, as, as I get through it I will get towards establishing the prayer amazing amazing that, amazing so, so another that people perceive some it's not no way is coincidence Allah is setting things up now you're again uh, speaking for your dad and now it just happens that your dad and my dad end up inside Abu again. <laughs> exactly, again. Exactly, you guys yeah. are having a meeting and finally after some time reflection he figures out man this is the truth he accepts it and you meant the shahada is as he said there's nothing worthy of worship i mean this is something the main mess if you can dig this you can dig islam that there's nothing worthy of worship except the creator of the heavens and the earth that's it and he sent messengers and the last of them including jesus most abraham and all the preceding ones 
that came last was Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. That makes sense. He accepted it. Alhamdulillah. This is an amazing story. I tell you, give us, now we're closing up, but for those people who are also, they're tuning in, you know, they might have been doing some late night reflection like you. You were a, a former owner of a nightclub. You were running the show. And now some people are watching the Dean show and they're like, you know, dealing with that anxiety, the void in the heart, drugs, alcohol, you know, and all of the other chaos that comes with life. But they tuned in. What advice do you give for people who are still stuck in that bubble of confusion? Get away from this as, as soon as possible because there is no happiness. There is no happiness in that kind of lifestyle. Maybe, maybe, maybe some uh, currently when you get like take drugs, drink alcohol, t passes away two, three hours, you think you feel good, but I know you don't feel good. It's just you think, you trick yourself that you feel good. But there, there, is no, there is no happiness in such a lifestyle. I know I'm talking from my own example. It's, I can't even compare my life before and my life now. How, alhamdulillah, how I'm satisfied with my life, how I'm happy in my life. There's, everybody has some problems. You can't, it's dunya, it's, it's the, the life here. You can't live without problems. But it's not even comparable to, to the problems I had before. That is amazing. Thank you so much. What an incredible story. Inshallah, it could be a much benefit Inshallah. for those people watching. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. And I want to thank you guys. We'll be out here in Bosnia broadcasting. You can have a look. Amazing city going back to the roots over here. You know, so make sure you're tuning in so you can see more of Bosnia and these incredible stories that we have coming for you. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you. Deen.